Biorobotics and Biomechanics Lab here at the Mechanical Engineering Department. We combine basic research in robotics, biomechanics, and rehabilitation. Dr. Dolan came to us from Stanford University after conducting a PhD work with one of the world leader in biomechanics, Professor Andriaki. Uh, she spends here two years and her work is related to home rehabilitation. After you have an injury, to do the rehabilitation for the injury can sometimes be a very tedious and time-consuming process. You have to keep going back and forth to the physiotherapist who gives you exercises to do at home that you may or may not do depending on how diligent you are about your physiotherapy. So what we wanted to do was make a system that was easier to do the rehabilitation at home as well as being more interesting and more exciting than traditional rehabilitation. So we created a robotic environment where you can play a game for your rehabilitation. And then while you're doing the game, we record how you're moving and as well as your muscle activity for how you're moving. And then what we do is we take that information about you and we adapt the game to your individual needs so that the game changes as you improve. She's playing a very simple ball following game. So basically what I've asked her to do is to follow the movement of the ball with her hand. And as she gets closer to the ball, the ball's gonna change color. It's gonna get closer to red. And then the music is also gonna get louder. So both these two pieces of biofeedback help her to do the game better and improve her rehabilitation. While she's doing the exercise, she's wearing two sensors on her arm. They give us information about how much her muscles are working and how hard she's working during the exercise. What we have here is a prototype of an exoskeleton that you could one day wear on your body to assist you with the exercises. The idea behind this is that if you're having difficulty with your rehabilitation and you can't quite complete the exercises, the robotic exoskeleton will help you complete the exercises and assist you with movements that you might have difficulty in. It's fun, it's exciting, and it'll help you improve your health and maintain a healthy lifestyle for the long term. The work done by my PhD student Ariel Fisher is related to body weight unloading. So we ask ourselves basic questions like what's happening when we're actually removing weight artificially from people. There are many applications for this research, of course for rehabilitation, but lately we also were approached by space industry. Astronauts go out to space and when they come back to Earth, they have to deal with gravity again. So the question is which muscles to strength which muscles to work on, and Ariel is actually going to provide these answers. This system lifts her up in dynamically and accommodates to when she walks. And I lift it by pulling this lever, and it shows me here on the monitor how much weight in kilograms I've taken off. The unloading depends on rehabilitation, and what we can do is you take off the weight of the people and allow them to walk more easily and more efficiently and focus on their gait. When I have a subject come into the lab for gait processing, I look at their angles of their hip, knee, and ankle, and I look at the forces, how they change with body weight unloading. If I took off 30%, how does it change in each joint? and I look at their electromyograph activity, their muscles, how they're active during their gait. We turn on the electrical winch back there that's installed in the wall, and it pulls the system. That way she doesn't have to push the system herself, but she just can walk with the system. This is used for people with neurological disorders, with gait disorders. In a hospital, you could put a device like this and see how we can help rehabilitate people faster and efficiently while taking off their body weight and using the results that we found here in the study. In our lab we developed two snake robots. One is for medical application, very flexible snake that surgeons can drive into cavity space of human body to perform surgery in organs that are hard to reach. The other one is for urban search and rescue application, to try to allocate survivors or indicate to, to search and rescue people whether it's safe 
to get into the building. Uh, we've demonstrated the snake robot to President Obama, Prime Minister Netanyahu, President Perez, and President Hollande. The Technion provides an ideal environment for us professors to conduct research and educate our students and encourage them to be creative, to think out of the box, to make mistakes, to learn from mistakes, and to think about their next great invention. <music>